Hey everybody, welcome back to the VMP Performance Channel. I'm Justin and I'm here to talk to you today about our big honking throttle body. This is the VMP 180R. It's fresh off the CNC machine and uh, it's sitting in front of me so we can talk about it. This is our biggest throttle body ever. Uh, there's one disclaimer, it's mechanical linkage. It only works with super old vehicles, 2004 and older, or standalone systems like Holly EFI. Why are we doing this, you may ask? Couple of reasons. We've got a lot of racers now running Holly EFI on dedicated race cars. They wanted a bigger VMP throttle body to fit their Gen 3Rs and their Odins. And you know, when people want stuff, we just gotta freaking make it. So this is the answer to a problem that we've had for quite a while now and that is having a direct bolt-on throttle body that is super big for VMP superchargers. Over here, I have some older parts. This is our Terminator GT500 bolt pattern, single blade mono blade throttle body. So a lot of people were using this, uh, like Cody Chaney has one of these on his Gen 3R just to get him off and running. And this is a really nice setup um, for like the smaller, 4.6 Cobra engines, they don't move as much air. The big 5.4, 5.8, even the 5.0 Coyote, it needs all the air in the world. And when we designed the Gen 3R, like two or three years ago now, it's been out for a while, I made the opening size really, really big with the intention of doing a larger throttle body in the future. And uh, that future is today. There's one thing you may ask, why are we not making an electronic VMP 180R throttle body? Well, the truth is these big fricking blades, they're really hard for the electronic drive-by wire motors to actuate. Right off idle, they get really pissy at wide open throttle, they get unhappy and they randomly close. So we just decided to stay away from that for now and stick to the mechanical linkage so we can get our racers taken care of with the Holly EFIs and such. When you go to install this throttle body, you are gonna have to use this adapter plate because there's, a, there's, a, there's some like things about designing and building throttle bodies. You can have this size right here and you can have a bolt pattern that's really close to the bore. However, you can't get the bolt in there if it's too close to the bore because you have to have a large enough flange to get the rubber coupler on. That necessitated a different bolt pattern. We made it really, really simple this time because the bolt pattern is nearly on top of the other one. So you bolt this adapter plate down, you use the provided gaskets, and this thing bolts up super, super clean. It's centered, it looks good, unlike the Gen 3, never doing that again. And we do have these silicone couplers available if needed. This one adapts to a JLT 148. This one adapts to a JLT-123. I don't know why you'd run a coal there that small with a throttle body this big. If you do have a standalone, it's speed density and you're probably not gonna be running a coal there. We had these on the shelf, so I wanted to mention that they would fit. One thing to keep in mind, we're eventually going to drill the Gen 3R and the Odin with this extra bolt pattern. So eventually, you won't need this guy anymore. That's everything I've got to show you today. Go out there and make your supercharger roar with a VMP 180R throttle body. See you next time.